now that you've got your unknowns, remember there's two organisms that are gram pos and a gram neg. I want you to think about how these plates are going to help you identify things, right? So first of all, let's remind ourselves, TSA will grow what? Everything. Everything. PEA will grow what? Gram pos. But it'll inhibit. Gram neg. But it won't kill gram negs, right? And McConkey will do what? Gram-negative, gram -negative. grow, inhibit gram-positive. Good. So you guys, that is excellent. So now if you look at this plate, for instance, if you look at this plate, this is Alamine's plate. If you look at this plate, I have this very crusty looking organism, right? And then I have a very mucoid looking organism, crusty mucoid, right? So I see two organisms. Now, if I compare that TSA that grows everything to PEA, I'm mostly seeing now this real crusty looking dude that looks mucoid also, right? It's, it's interesting how its morphology is changing over a period of time. There's a reason I selected this organism because Alamine needed a, needed a challenge in her life, okay? But you'll notice here that this organism is growing on McConkie and is it a fermenter of lactose or a non-fermenter? Fermenter. Fermenter. So if we look at the morphology here, we notice that the colony is type of a medium-sized colony, right? So if we go back to the TSA plate and we look, there's a big old gigantic colony and there's a little bitty medium-sized organism. Which one do you think is gram-negative? The big old gigantic dude or the medium-sized dude? Medium. This is how you think about this. the medium sized looking thing. Okay, so now, this is Alamine's, right? This one is Eric's. Eric has got a whole different situation going here. When you look at this plate, it, it looks like he's got a pinkish orange colony growing here, but it's hard to see anything else. And this one smells fruity. Yeah? <laughs> so Clarissa doesn't think it's fruity, right? So here it's growing, looks fruity, and here is a, a different organism that doesn't look fruity, and here is the fruity looking one, but it's inhibited, right? The little, the look, kind of the grayish looking ones, the little whitish looking ones are growing here, right? And if we look at the colonies on McConkie, they look kind of medium sized, and they're umbinate. Umbinate means there's a raised center, kind of like a nipple, right? So if you go back to the TSA plate and look at these, you'll notice that the pinkish colony is also umbinate. So which one do you think is the gram neg? The fruity looking dude that's pinkish oranges with umbinate or the little whitish guy that's smaller? Right. So this gram neg is that big old gigantic colony that's unbenigned. Therefore, this has to be your grandpa's. See how it's done? Mm -hmm. Now this one is a whole different ball game, right? This one has a very aggressive gram neg. And how do you know that? Because it is growing over the entire plate. It has covered the entire plate. And Isabella likes this very much because it smells great. Mm -hmm. Okay? So now if we look at these other two plates, what you're gonna notice is this one has a beautiful white colony, right? This one has a colony that is lactose non-fermenting, right? But none of them are showing the organism that's just growing all the way across, right? So if this organism is gram negative, and we know that the organism that here is growing is very aggressive and gram negative, the organism that's covered the entire plate is the organism that is here, okay? The other one, the little white guy, is gram pos. Now, the gram negs are easy, right? They're growing on McConkie and you know they're gram negs. So all you really have to do is really put them into a battery of tests that we know as MVIC. So everybody should put their gram neg from McConkie into MVIC. But the gram pos are a whole different ball game. You're going to have to tell me what the morphology is before you can figure out how to identify it. So next time, because we're not going to have time today, next time your task will be for those gram pos is to do a gram stain to figure out its morphology. Okay?
So now you know how to think about it critically. What you're gonna do today is what? Data, collect data. But what are you gonna do? The gram neg, and what are you, where are you gonna put it? Invic. Invic. So here is the model for Invic. You have SIM, you have two tubes, one MR, one VP, and a citrate. Everyone should inoculate these tubes for their gram negative unknown. Gram pause, you can't do anything today because there's some work that has to be done, right? So the other thing I want to tell you is that if you have an organism that is mixed with gram, the gram pause that's mixed with gram neg, like Ellie does. Ellie, can I see your plate, please? Mm -hmm. If not, not that one, either TSA or, or... So if we look here, you can see that here you have two organisms. You have this large organism and then you have this little tiny one. So to me, she doesn't have enough of the little small one. So she should take that thing out of there and grow it on a plate so she has a whole bunch of it mm -hmm. because that's the other one she needs to identify. So if you also have that, that's something else you have to do. You have 15 minutes to which to accomplish this. Doing this MVIC doesn't take you but two, so then you have to decide whether or not you have enough organism to finish what you need to do, right? And so that's where I leave you today with those instructions. Thank you, Tram.